Hey everybody, Fixit Scotty here. About a year ago I did a video where I replaced a Delta tub shower valve cartridge and I compared it also to the Moen cartridge. Well this time I have a demonstration on replacing a Kohler tub shower cartridge. Only I have to give 100% credit to my brother who both performed and filmed the installation and graciously gave me the footage to put on my channel. So if you think he did a good job and this was a help to you, click the like button. Hope you enjoy. We have the telltale sign of a leaky cartridge. So we pick up a new replacement cartridge from the store. There's a link in the description. The tools you'll need to do this is a Phillips head screwdriver, some pliers, some gloves, a little bit of silicone grease or plumber's grease, and maybe a few towels. You have to shut off the water in order to replace the cartridge. My brother has actual hot and cold shutoffs in the bathroom for the shower because it's a condo, but if you're in a house, you may have to sh shut off your main cold water line at the basement or in the garage. It's also a good idea to plug the drain so when you remove any screws or parts, they don't get lost. Unfortunately, my brother forgot to film the part where he took the handle and the backing plate off, but at the end of the video, he'll put it back on so you can see how that came off by when he shows you how to put them on. But what he's showing you here is there's two stainless steel screws on each side of the valve body, and they're just Phillips head screws that you'll need to remove. And then he'll remove that stainless steel locking plate that comes on. Notice that it says top at the top and just keep that because we're going to use that again. Then he's going to just kind of grip it with his hands and kind of use his thumbs to kind of pry it away. Be very careful because everything's plastic and you can damage something. But what he does here is break the seal and he's able to pull that front part of the valve out. Once that's out, he grabs his pliers and then he'll pull that rear part of the balancing valve straight out just by gripping it and just pulling it out. Then he'll go in to inspect what's in there. Notice that he'll find maybe a loose O-ring, I think that he pulls out of here. So make sure you inspect that hole and make sure everything, all parts of the valve are removed because we'll be putting in new gaskets and everything. So here he is doing a final inspection and just kind of making sure there's no lost uh, left over O-rings or anything else. And even maybe just cleans and wipes it up just to make sure there's no uh, deposits or anything um, that will prevent the installation of the new cartridge. So after unpacking all the parts that come in the new valve package, we'll just organize the ones that we know we're going to use. So we're going to put the two small O-rings, uh, or the two medium-sized O-rings, and the large O-ring with the front valve of the valve, and then the two flat washers with the uh, rear part of the balancing valve. We're not going to use the screws and the, the, the round metal plate that came with it because the one that, that we already had is already is in great shape and we're going to use that one. So next my brother's just going to put a little bit of, of that silicone grease on his hands and just lube up all the different o-rings and washers before he goes ahead and installs them onto the different valve uh, parts. So obviously the large o-ring will go right there, will go around the main part of the, the front valve body and those medium sized o-rings will go around the hot and cold inlets. And then those smaller O-rings will go on the rear part of the valve body there. And they'll go kind of inside those little orifices. They'll kind of snap them in there. Note that the on the underside there's writing which will dictate which side is the cold and hot. You want to make sure that cold is on the right hand side when you go to in, reinstall it. So here he's going to install it with the correct positioning 
and the, this is just the rear of the valve balancing valve and then he'll take the front part of the valency valve making sure he's got the right hot and cold on the correct size for, based on the markings and he'll push that in into there and get the it seated in, in that o-ring then he'll grab that his old stainless steel ring making sure to note that the top hole goes on the top and then he'll reinstall those stainless steel screws on either side Notice that he goes back and forth between the screws to tighten them in evenly. That helps to seat everything better. Now he's gonna go replace that top valve cap, which is that white thing. He didn't film the removal of it, but notice that it's simply those two long machine screws on the top and bottom that hold it in. And finally, he'll put on the backing plate and then he'll put on the handle with that threaded surround on it, which threads into that white plastic piece, as you can see. So that kind of gives you an idea of how he removed it. He removed it by gripping that outer piece of the handle and then unscrewing that will unscrew both the handle and loosen the back plate. Now he's got the valve in place and he's got everything buttoned up, he's, right now he's going ahead and testing the valve. Now there's two things you're gonna test when you replace the cartridge, is one is, does it go from cold to hot properly? And then, and then finally, does it not leak anymore? And that completes the Kohler cartridge replacement. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and we'll get back to you. Thanks.